Hello and welcome to the walkthrough video of Flying Upload. So first of all, Flying Upload is a print-on-demand automation tool which you can use to upload to the various platforms like Spreadshirt, Redbubble, Amazon Merge and so on. Um, automatically you don't have to do this manually anymore. So basically the Flying Upload workflow is you're designing your designs. Once these are finished you can edit them and then upload them. For designing you can use Photoshop, GIMP, um, whatever tool you like. Then you can define title, description, tags and set the options. Once this is done, you can drag and drop your design and upload them. So in this instance, we are um, uploading the design to two platforms simultaneously at the same time to spreadshirt.de and .com. First, it is uploading the image. Um, once this is done, it is selecting the right template. Um, after then, title descriptions and tags are added and your upload is finished. So putting it all together, Flying Upload is an all-in-one tool. You can edit your designs. Uh, you can use the translation to translate from one language into another, use uh, keyword suggestions, um, and description suggestions. You can upload to multiple platforms also at the same time. You have full control. You can pause, continue and restart your uploads at any time. And you can let the upload be done at the background. <coughs> so our concept is that you're editing your designs and all the data is stored locally on your computer as XML files. Um, which then you can use to upload all your designs. So for each of your designs, which are probably PNG files, an XML file is created, which stores all your data like title, description, and so on, which is then used to upload. So Flying Upload is available for both systems, Windows and Mac OS, and available languages would be English, German, French, and Spanish, depending on which country you're choosing right in the beginning. Now we are going to the overview and having a look at each functionalities. So first of all, we are starting the launcher in which you have to enter your license key and then hit start. Um, it is checking your license key and starting the main application. In your main application, we can go to the edit window, drag and drop our design and start to edit. In the English language, we can add our title, our description and text. For the description, we can use the description suggestions and replace our placeholders. Once this is done, we can hit our keywords. For our keywords, we can also use the keyword finder to search for related keywords, um, which can be opened by using the button on the right corner. Here we can use, um, we can search for related keywords in four different search engines. Each search engine can be used individually. Then um, if you find the related keywords you like, just hit the left mouse button and add them to your tags. Once you found all your keywords which you like, you can just hit the save button on the bottom right corner and these will be saved. Now going to the German language, we can translate our text from English to German or from German to English. Both directions are fine. Then um, enter our options. Let's say for we want our designs for men and women. The color black is all right. Then open the Amazon window. So Amazon is handling the things a bit different. So there is an extra window for that. Just enter your price, your colors and um, brand bullet point one, bullet point two. Title and descriptions are um, added automatically from the main window. You can also use the translation tool in the Amazon MBA window. So hit save. Then we are saving our design and now we can go to our options for showing you guys how the tool works. So basically for each platform, um, some templates are defined. Based on these templates, Flying Upload knows um, what template it has to select for the individual design. 
So then go into the upload window, just drag and drop your designs and start uploading. So first we are starting our Redbubble upload. In Redbubble, um, designs which are already uploaded can be used as a template by copying them. So Flying Upload is doing that. It is copying a design. Um, using this copy, then it is uploading the image. Once the image is uploaded, it is setting the background color based on the color you are defining in the main window. So now it's, it is setting the color picker. Once this is done, the text is added in German as well as in English, and the design is uploaded. Now we have uploaded our first design to Redbubble. So now going back to the upload window, I mean we want to be more productive, so let's get started and start both spreadsheet upload at this, uploads at the same time. So now we can see both spreadsheet uploads running in the foreground and Redbubble is still running in the background. So basically at the moment we are running three upload processes at the same time. Each upload process is run, uh, running individually, so you can pause, restart or stop each upload process. Going back to our upload window, we can see the progress and Redbubble is about to finish. So now we finished our Redbubble upload and now we want to show you something awesome. You can go back to the edit window and start editing your designs while the upload is still running in the background. So basically during the upload in the background you can use your PC for whatever you, things you would like to do. So now going back to the upload window, we can see the progress of the both spreadsheet uploads, which are about to finish. So now by finishing these uploads, you can see the report window. So the report is showing um, if everything went well or if there were any errors. So in the next few videos, we are showing you guys how to configure flying upload, how to use the edit and the upload window and some tools and tricks how to use the things effectively.